Hello and welcome to Final Factory. Final Factory is developed by Never Games Limited, and it blends factory building, spaceship design, and a rich universe. In this game, we will build a mega factory and command a massive fleet against the hostile local aliens. We'll discover new technologies and unlock the secrets of an ancient civilization as we explore the infinite cosmos. The release date for this game is April of 2024, but the demo is available now as part of Steam Next Fest. So we're going to take a look at it as our next entry into our Steam Next Fest coverage this week. So let's just go ahead and hit new game. Uh, standard world, there's a seed here. I'm just going to leave it on. We'll leave the objectives on because that kind of serves as a bit of a tutorial. Um, and then the enemy difficulty, standard is probably fine. Attack frequency, standard is probably fine. Um, if you like casual play, you could do either of those, or both maybe, or if you like difficult play, you could do either of those, or both. Uh, custom stuff here, um, gives you a little more control over some of those, those other things there, as well as, um, uh, additional settings here. We'll leave them all at the default, and we'll just get started. I have no idea Welcome, what seed to pick, so we'll just do it. You have been sent to these deep reaches of the cosmos to grow. Through a dark leviathan you have come, and you must consume all there is in this space to find your way through another. You are many, and you will be more. Alright, uh, WSD of course to move. Mine bauxite ore to build a starter base. So here we need to... Uh, we need to prepare to clear the area of enemies. Follow the indicator to the nearby bauxite asteroid. Hold right click on the asteroid to begin mining it and then move the collected ore or move to collect the, the ore before it disappears. So right click on the asteroid and then the ore comes up as just these glowy dots and we can collect those. Uh, we need to have 75 so we'll mine once more. That was 63 and then there's our 75. And then we need to gather silica oil ore for bats. All right, let's do that. And you have to be just so close to the um, to the uh, to the mine, and actually you can see a little bit of a hit box. Here's the corner right here. You can see that that box. You have to be within that box in order to hit the asteroid. Otherwise, you you will not be able to do it. Actually, got to be a little bit further inside than inside. Uh, open the crafting panel by pressing E or click the blinking button down here, and then under categories, choose combat ships, and then pick or build four. Uh, uh, bats, which are a small, feisty fleet ship. And you can see the crafting queue here automatically crafts the uh, prerequisites for you, which is really nice to have, but a lot of games include that. And then we have stuff going on over here. When you have four bats in your fleet, you can use the frenzy ability. Press V and click to use your frenzy ability. Ooh. If you need to get something or get away from something quick, use your afterburner. Press space to use your afterburner. Nice. Even if you lose your fleet, you are not defenseless. Press C to select the plasma bolt and left click the fire. Nice. I gotta fire it five times. Okay, there we go. Destroy the Vec base nearby. No, that's not them there. That's that's outside of this cloud area that I've got available to me. Up here is where we need to go. Follow the indi indicator to destroy them. Try using your abilities. So we want V to start with. Go. And I will shoot as well, just for fun. And then we can pew the pews on these guys. Oh, there's there's a lot of them up here. I guess you can you can press and hold on that. You can pick up some stuff they dropped. There's a lot to destroy up here. I don't know if that was intended or not, but that's what we're doing now. Pew, 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 pew. Ancient treasure. Ooh. Nice. Did I lose my guys here? I did. Okay, let's uh, not hang out in there then. Oh, no, they're here. They're here still. Are they? Yeah, I got three of them. I lost one of them. Okay. Let's pew this thing. Guess I said maybe I should build another ship or two then. 
my frenzy's not available. Do you have to have a certain number to get the frenzy to work? That could be. Ancient portal, ancient cosmic structure, with origins unknown. Interesting. Oh, hello. I'm gonna view you guys too here. Because, well, reasons. You must have to have four of them to do the frenzy. Okay, well that's good to know. There's a lot of these guys up here. Um... Okay. Pew, 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 pew. I think I'm, sh I'm missing one again. And then what's that? A warp obelisk. Okay, we need to get back to uh, actually building the factory here. Otherwise we're going to be... Stuck in combat forever. Just finish this one off, and then we can get out of here. I think. Oh, no, we got two more little bases down there to deal with, too. Uh, here comes another fighter. Okay, or two. Perfect. Let's stay down and out of the way. And they're back. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. So that I don't know what it is. Oh, take all. There we go. Now we do. And this one too. Take all. Okay, back down here. Open the technology panel by pressing T or clicking the flashing technology panel button up here. Research mining logistics. And then gather iron ore for the mining logistics, for the mining structure, rather. So that's down here. We have we have another asteroid down here. You can see that. And there's there's enemies over here too, which could be interesting to deal with. Let's collect some of this ore. I'll zoom in a little bit, maybe. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to grab another handful just because. I'm sure I'll need it eventually. And then open the crafting panel and select the structure category and then select the mining structure. So that select structure category is selected automatically. Mining structure, we'll make one of those. And it's doing the prerequisites here. And then build a construction robot. In order to place structures, you need a construction robot. E, then working ships, and then the construction bot recipe. Select construction bot to build it and add it to your fleet. And then place your first mining structure near the bauxite asteroid. Okay. Uh, is that down here? No, it's not down there. Is it up here? Yes, it is. So these also have to be built within those hit, that hitbox. Um, you can see that the hitbox ends right here. And then it kind of stopped being able to do it. So let's just build it maybe like right there. And then uh, we, need, we can remove the mining structure just by flying near it and press and hold right click. And the... cut. Construction bot will dart out there and pick it up. Now that you've learned to remove structures, place our mining station again. And then open the crafting panel and select the solar panel to craft it. You can see here the little lightning bolt says that we need some power. One kilowatt. Solar panels are here on the toolbar, so I'm going to grab that. And we need to plug it in using the arrow here. Gather bauxite ore for four mining bots. Okay, we need a little bit more ore then. There we go. And then we need to uh, craft, find and craft some miner bots, which are here. And I want four. So we'll do, do that uh, crafting cube real quick. And what it seems to do is if you're nearby a mining station, it will automatically assign them to the mining station. Otherwise, you have to kind of assign them manually. Now, I don't know if there's a limit to the number of... Um, bots that can be contained within a mining station. If it's four or if you can have more in there, I don't know. Uh, fly near the mining structure. Left click on the mining structure to open the structure panel. Um, oh, four or four. There we are. Okay. And then uh, control click on the bauxite from the inventory section in the lower left of the mining structure panel. You can also control click on any structure to remove what is stored in it. Nice. Connectors Connect structures into stations and move items from one structure to another. Press E to open the crafting menu and make a connector. And then those are down here in my toolbar as well, so we can connect that up. Press R to rotate the connector. 
So the arrow faces away from the mining station. So see, there's arrows on either end of that tube. We'll connect that up like that. Cargo holds are useful for storing items. We'll make one of those. And that's also in the toolbar automatically here. Uh, number four. So we'll put that down. And then we can use bauxite ore to automate the production of other items. Select T and uh, press T and select atomic printing, which is the only one available. So that's handy. And then press E to open the crafting menu and do the connectors. I'm going to do a few of these, maybe like five of them, just because I think we'll need them uh, eventually. And then press R to rotate the connector. Right, I will do that. And then add more power. Oh, we should probably make a few of those too. What do those take? Bauxite and iron. Okay, let's pull some of this bauxite out of here again. And then we can make a few of those. Because we're going to need them eventually. Uh, you can go right in there. Good. Left, just craft an atomic printer using to use the ore from our mining structure. Crafting menu, navigate to the structures tab and craft an atomic printer. Takes a lot of prerequisites to make that one. And here it is. And I'll plug that in, maybe like this. And that is at risk for overheating or is already overheating. Add heat sinks to any connected station on the grid. And it's selling us the same thing here, so we need to create a heat sink, or craft a heat sink, rather. Actually, I think I will rotate that uh, the other way. Let's do this. What is that? Oh, an inventory box. Okay. Weird. And then this has also connected to the station via the arrows, so we'll plug that in like that. And now we have an error that is um, station unstable. It needs a station core or additional struts to operate. Stability needed four. So we need to create uh, uh, a strut, which is this here. And these have a net stability of minus one. So we'll, we'll build one of those and we can attach it to the station anywhere we want to. It doesn't matter where. Just have to connect it via the flat ends like this. And then we can, um, gather some more iron ore. So I told you we'd need some more. I'm going to gather two handfuls of iron ore this time. Once again, or maybe, maybe I should do more, but we'll do two, two for now. Just because I don't want to be down here gathering a bunch in a row. A single station core will add stability to a space station. Open the crafting menu and build a station core. This has a, uh... Uh, does it say where the what the net stability seventy six? Okay. Oh, so that's a minus one. That means that the stability needed here is now five with the extra strut. Interesting. Okay. And then we'll build that uh, station core, attach that to the strut, like that, and that gives our station some stability. But now we have power issues again. So let's just attach some more power here. That's enough. Okay, good. Uh, we can also see that uh, our consumption is minus four, which is why we have, wait, we only have three. Oh, it's minus four for that one building. Okay. Is there anything that tells me how much power the entire station uses? I don't know. Now that we have power, stability, and heat under control, it's time to automate production. Fly near the atomic printer you place. That's this one. Left click the atomic printer and select the low density structure recipe. So we have AI controllers, low density structures, and medium density structures here. Low densities require bauxite. And uh, they craft, they take 0.8 seconds to craft, so you can craft 75 of them per minute. Nice extra info there. We have to craft 10 of them automatically. We're doing that. You can see that right there. Zoom. And there we go. Craft and connect a connector to the atomic printer. All right, we should probably... Oh, we did make a bunch of connectors. Let's do that there. And now we have power issues again. Everything requires power. There you go. Thank you, bot. Select and filter low-density structures in the connector. So this is a new bit here that kind of tells us some things we might want to pick from here. So low-density structures. We didn't have to do that here because at the time there was only one item in that box. But there are two items in this box. So we need to make sure we only select the correct one. Press T to open the technology panel and research automation. 
Craft and place assembler so it receives low density structures. Okay, assembler here. Also takes a lot of prerequisites. There we go. And I will put that like this, and it's probably going to complain about power again. No, actually. Left click on the assembler, select the intermediates tab, and select plasma engines. That's here, which requires two low density structures and one second to craft. Uh, so it produces 60 items per minute. But technically, because this only produces, produces less, uh, we got power issues again. Um, since this only produces still more power issues, okay. You happy now? Yes. What was the production on this? How, how fast were these things? Does it tell me? Somewhere? It told me somewhere. I just don't remember where. Hmm. Either way. Some sort of production. Make sure the connector is placed to pull plasma engines from the assembler. Well, you didn't tell me to place a connector. But okay, we'll put that there. And then we need to set the filter to plasma engines. And then I'm guessing we're going to want to put those into a box. But it skips that step. And just says, hey, go go back to or research ship assembly. So let's do that. And then craft a ship assembler, which can automate the production of ships like mining bots and bats. There we go. And we're going to be low on now bauxite, which we could steal some. We low on, we're low on silica as well. Connect the ship assembler to your assembler. Oh, this uh, goes into, okay, that's why we didn't put a storage down for those. Uh, ship assembler, put that in there. And now we have heat issues again. So let's deal with that. And I think we're gonna have power issues too, right? Uh, yep, okay, more of these. And I like, too, that when you when you right-click, it creates five, but it just queues them up one at a time so that you don't wait. Like in Factorio, it stacks everything so it makes all of, you know, the one item, then all of the next item, and then all of the final item. This does them one at a time, which means you're getting them a little bit at a time instead, which is kind of nice. Select the ship assembler. Under the category Working Ships, that's this one. Select Miner Bot, that's this one. And then we need to start mining other ore to automate more, so craft another mining structure, which means we need some more iron. Let's go get some more. Guess I should have mined three. There is 92,000 ore. Almost 93,000 ore on this now. Nice. Okay, I'll do a third one this time. So we get, meh, about 60 or 65 uh, mining structure. I guess I should wait and see where this goes. Wait, did I make one? Or... No, I didn't. Okay, we'll wait and see where this actually goes, because this could go down there, too. Place a mining station near the silica asteroid. Okay, I can do that. Mining station. Here. Uh, you can't, also, you can't put them right above the station. or the, the asteroid, you have to put them kind of off to the side a little bit. Attach a solar panel to your silica mining structure to power the space station. Okay. I guess I could have done that from the toolbar, too. And then let the mining bots float over from the ship assembler, which they're doing. And you need more power over here, too. Okay. And they'll automatically come over here and start mining, which is nice. That's what we learned to the test. From your silica mining structure, build another space station that has an atomic printer. Select AI controller circuits from the new atomic printer. Okay, so those take what? Uh, where were those at? Here they are. Uh, those take just silica ore, so we're going to put this into a connector. And then I'm going to put it into a box, which I don't have made. Make a few more connectors, too, after that. That way we can just stock this up. By the way, these boxes hold four stacks, and the stack, I think, was 100. And we figured that part out. And then another connector here. And then, of course, the power is out. There you go. And then, um, 
Try copying using control C and pasting using control V to speed up the process. What would we copy though? Is it an atomic printer we needed for those? Yeah, atomic printer. Uh, let's do an atomic printer. That one? Yes. So if I do control C on this, what does that do? Nothing? I'm not sure what control C is doing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this then. We'll just do it like that. I ended up doing it the other way. Oh yeah, I need to do it the other way. So pick that up again. And then let's do this. And let's pick those up. And then let's do uh, a heat sink. We're probably going to need some more power as well. Those were bauxite. Let's go get some more bauxite from the storage over here. Heat sink. There. Oh, we need the strut and the station core as well then. I think I'll attach that on this side over here. In the meantime, you can make these AI thingies. And then we can do the strut. I clicked just as the other thing was being created. And the station core here. And then we need power, of course. I'll just do a couple of those. I don't know how much we need, but we'll need more because we're going to connect more. So now we're making those things. Space stations cannot be too big or they become unstable. Bots can help move items between space stations so they don't get too large. Open the crafting menu and select the working ships category and then make an inserter bot. Ooh. Place the inserter so it can pick up AI controller circuits. Well, I think we might want to put those into a box. Sort of like how we did here. No, we didn't actually do that here. Can we do this without a box? Let's see. Okay, these have arrows on them, and there's a dot and another dot, but the dots don't have to be that far apart, or they can be. So we'll go there, and then you're ready to go. That was quick. Research cargo logistics. Inserters are good at traveling short distances, but space is large. We have technology for longer range ships. So open T and do cargo logistics, and then craft a logistics bay. And then place it so it's in the path of the inserter. Okay, so this will serve as kind of like a box then. Uh, so we can put it here, or it could be anywhere in this in this path. We'll just do it right there. That's fine. And it's going to need power. So we'll need to hook some power up to it. Because of course it needs power. And then craft a cargo drone, which is here in working ships. Connect a cargo drone to the logistics bay. Uh, cargo drone. So that'll go here. Oh, that's... Um, <laughs> I built these kind of close together. I don't think I was supposed to build them quite this close together, but uh, we'll just do it like this. And then put a cargo drone to work. Craft another logistics bay and place it in the path of the cargo drone. Okay. I'm going to put it out here then, I think. There you go. And then craft and connect a craft and connect the connector to the receiving logistics bay. Okay, we have connectors. Let's do it this way, maybe. We're also going to need power. Create a research bot in a ship assembler. Research asteroid science. Okay, asteroid science. Ooh, now it unlocked a bunch of things. Gather plasma engines and AI controller circuits into a ship assembler to build research bots. Okay, so that's going this way. Maybe I didn't want it to go this way then. Because this is the... Um, plasma engines. No, they're here. Yeah, I want to do this differently then. Pick that up. Pick that up. And you didn't leave a box of crap this time. I don't know why it did before. Uh, then we'll do the connector over here. And then we need a ship assembler. And I'm out of everything. 
Uh, I'm guessing this is an iron issue. It is. I'm thinking we're going to have to mine some iron pretty soon. Or automate mining of iron pretty soon. We're already mining iron pretty soon. Now we're going to do four. There we go. Okay. Ship assembler. Big ol' research queue there. Or, uh, construction queue, I mean. Fabricators is the, uh, the one that's making a bunch of, I think. Yeah, because I was making those eight medium density structures. So I'll put that here. Maybe. And now, of course, we have power issues. And also heat issues. I'm guessing we might need some more there. And then the uh, heat sink. Put that there, maybe. And then we need to also get um, plasma engines into here, which we're coming out of this, right? Yes. So we need to get a... Or maybe I shouldn't have put that there, then. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, that's actually okay. I'm going to have to do something here. A little bit creative, I think. Uh, let's do another... I mean, I see the stability thing, but I'm going to ignore it for the moment. Just for the moment. Uh, one of these. And then you can go maybe here. And then you've got the plasma engines. Good. Oh, I can't... I want to go there, then. I wanted to go... Really, thing? I wanted to go up here. Here, yes. And then we'll make a cargo thingy. Again. And I'll put that right there. And it'll deliver those to that. And then I will just do one of these into there. And I think that'll work out okay. Now we need to deal with the stability issue. Which is one of these and one of those. I gotta figure out some place to connect it. Which I think I can do. Uh, one of these... Uh, we need to make research bots here. Asteroid research bot. Okay. Uh, the stability core thingy here. And then I can attach more power on the side of this thing then too. There we go. Lots of power. Asteroid research stations must be placed near asteroids. Don't forget to add a solar panel to one of the flat ends of the research station. Okay. Research station. Lots of stuff once again. There we go. And that needs to be placed near an asteroid. Uh, it doesn't tell me which one, so let's put it on this one. And then we need more solar panels, because of course we do. And I'm short now on bauxite. There we go, one of the flat ends. And the research bots are coming over. Good. Press the M key to open the map. You can use the scroll wheel and the cursor keys to move around the map. Press escape or M to close the map. So we have the uh, the enemies over here still. There's some over here somewhere still in the fog. Um, and then we also have uh, an iron asteroid to you have get a hold of there. yourself capable oh. of wielding this sector. Only large stepping stones will be given as guidance from here. A leviathan lurks somewhere in this space. Build the dark mm -hmm. stargate and send more of you through into the unknown the dark star so gate. that we may continue the great assimilation of the universe resistance is futile i think we should make some more of these combat ships which we'll need silica and bauxite for uh, let's go into here and maybe just take a hundred and then we can come in here and just take what, what we have which isn't much looks like we might need another mining station here at some point so we might want to do that um, so we have we have some objectives here. 
explore different tech routes, and build new structures. Final goal is to launch a singularity ship into a black hole, and then press the skip button below to proceed. Oh, and that's the end of the demo. But we can still produce research bots from the ship assembler, uh, still. So we can keep making those. Uh, no available research stations, though, so we're going to want to make more research stations. Two of those, plus some of these. That's good that that's officially the end of the demo. We can keep going. It makes it a little bit handy to be able to keep working on things we want to do here. Uh, I guess I can put down one of these. Hmm, okay. And then a solar panel there. And then I think they'll fly over and fill it in there. So it's out of range. Yeah, it can, the capacity here is four. So we'll have to produce them. Maybe we'll put them into a box or something. Uh, but we can research these asteroids since they're here anyway. And they'll just send over the bots to deal with that when the time comes, I guess. When they're available. And then we need to do... Um, you make your tech research a lot easier by having a ship assembler automatically produce research bots for you. Well, we are. They're here. We're already doing it. I like these little ships zip back and forth. It's kind of a weird thing that they only go in straight lines, but it's also kind of neat. Uh, so, T, we can do defense platforms, which allows construction of defense platforms that house combat units, which will automatically deploy to destroy nearby attackers. We can do lasers, allows for the construction of lasers and structures that use them. I'm guessing that's for, oh, asteroid science tech. Okay. And required for laser turrets tech and ship processing tech. Oh no, maybe it needs us to have asteroid science tech before we could unlock this. That's probably it. Bat damage. We could probably use that. We could probably use that. Is this our research points here? Uh, total research points, 17. So this is 20, so we can't research this yet. Uh, this one here, exploration, unlocks exploration centers, which reveal fog around them when powered. Fleet command increases personal fleet capacity to or by 20. What is our current personal fleet capacity? And we're also accumulated 11 asteroid research. 4 out of 10? Is that us there? Yeah, that's us there. Okay, so we should make some more of these bats then. Uh, that's 5, 6. That'll get us, that'll get us there. And we're at 100% fleet health. Um... 100 player hit points. And this is our traveling speed. Okay. And then we go boost it and gets to 400 for our little boost there. Nice. Uh, what else do we have here? Station repair, logistics management, mass fuel consumer. Oh, and you see these start taking asteroid research instead of just the uh, the the regular research down here. Just mass fuel thermal management, which is radiators which attach to heat exchangers and greatly increase the amount of heat that can be dissipated from a station grid. Oh, nice. Junctions, which can be attached to connectors to split or change the direction of item flow. Interesting. So I wonder if you can you can you stick two connectors next to each other? Like, that's not a good spot. Mm, that might be an okay spot. Like, can I just do this and make them twice as long? I can. Okay. Thank you for the info. So we should probably go out here and whack these uh, these other bad guys over here. Uh, v. There we go. Frenzy. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Ow. Pew, pew, pew. I want to see what these things do also, these pillar things. There we go. This obelisk can grant your ship a hardening effect. Increasing its hit points. How? Must be some sort of technology. Can I pick it up? I can pick it up. Ooh. That's how. Indomitable obelisk is granted you a 50% base health increase. Nice. And then I can't do anything with it anymore. I can't right-click it or anything. 
Uh, let's go back over to the other one and take a look at what else that can do. Research will no longer be given by objectives. We have to automate research bots in appropriate stations. So we need to get a regular research station going to some point here. Uh, that one I can do something with too. Okay, what about uh, this one here? Let's do this first. Warp Obelisk. Grants your ship the power to manipulate the geometry of space, increasing its speed. 15%. So now we can do 115, 460 on the boost. And then this. The old masters have left us a device of great power. Convenient. If only this twisted space could be unraveled so that we may hop along the stars unhindered. Ooh. Alas. Portal name. Only the Leviathans offer us such pathways, so we must Nictalith. grow. Nictalith. So we have to find more of them to travel between them, apparently. Because there's only one stop here. So, okay. So we have to find one more, and then we can jump around. Easily. Quote-unquote, easily. Okay, so we got that stuff going. Uh, we need to produce more of these bots, which means we need to do another uh, connector here. I'm just going to put them into a box. Oh, I can't do that because I need more iron. All right, that, that means I need to do some more mining, which means I need some more iron. All right. Then we need to figure out how to get the regular... Oh, we're still getting regular research points. How did I get those? Because the asteroid research points are gotten from these guys. What about the research? Uh, that didn't do much of a filter, though. Hmm. Um, I don't think that works. Do we, do we get like a regular research station somehow? Don't see how. Maybe we get asteroid research by, or regular research by doing asteroid research too. Not sure. Uh, not that. Let's do one of these so we can start mining this stuff. This stuff being iron. Uh, somewhere in this vicinity. And then I'll do some power. I'm just going to stick three of them to it right away because why not? And then we can connect off of that into a box that I don't have. Because why would I? Wait, where'd you guys go? And or where did you come from? Did I somehow increase the capacity of these things? Nope. Oh, those are the miners. Derp. Wally. That'd be dumb. Okay, there we go. And that'll get us uh, a stockpile of iron that we can click on and and take care of as well. So if we aren't getting in enough car uh, enough bauxite, which we're not, for me to be able to grab and use, then we need to increase the miners. Which, uh, if there's not a mining increase something somehow something then uh, there might be someone down here but the one we can get at right now then i think the only way to increase this would be to add another one of these and disconnect it to the same box so we could do that uh, but what i think i'm going to do first is do the defense platforms because why not and, oh what i was going to going to do going to do is build one of these there Filter that for the uh, bots that are coming out. Yep. And then, why are they not coming out? No available research stations. Well, I it's fine, but I need you to put them in a box. Can you not do that? I guess you cannot. They have to go directly out. So that means we need to have more research stations uh, for them. And that means that we're going to want to either find more asteroids, which is possible or to um, to set more of them up at each of the asteroids. Maybe. I like this fog. It's really cool looking. I like how the three-dimensionalness of it is. Oh, uh, there's some more bad guys. All right, let's go Frenzy. Those are asteroid research points as well. OK. 
Okay, I didn't notice that before, but now I know. I'm losing. I'm losing my fleet. I lost all my fleet. Oopsie. Okay. I'm not very good at combat. Five. What do these need? Silica and... I need more silica. That was a lot. Probably was too much. I'm gonna need some more at this box site, too. Maybe I should set up that other... Those didn't last very long. I mean, they do vanish after a little while, but they didn't last very long at all, unless the miner bots collected them. No, I don't know what happened. Uh, so maybe I should do one of these mining platform thingies. Mining stations. And also then do five more of those while I'm at it. Uh, we could put this in... Actually, it could just go, like, right there. Because that, that overlaps with that other thing. This will make it, though... Well, it's going to be the same station anyway, so... We'll just do it like this. Uh, what about those connectors? Do we have a connector, or do we not have the connectors yet? That was the thing we didn't research yet. So I don't know how we earn more of those, um, exactly. Um, but I guess I could just put down a box here, and then just do it like that. And now we need power, but we don't need power, because they're... Sh oh, yes, we do we need power. Oh, yes, we do. They were sharing power, but not very well. They don't share very well. But they'll get four um, miners, and they'll just keep contributing to the to the fun there. That sounds fine to me. I'm going to avoid that huge fleet of enemies up there. We're just going to keep looking around a little bit, mayhaps. That was a lot. I don't know if there's anything else to really find, or if we're kind of stuck at this point, because that's the end of the demo, and it's just giving me huge numbers of things that I can do um, that don't really make much sense. Um, but we could do more, because we could potentially at least set up another one of these stations and see if we can put it also on one of the asteroids. Though they're there accumulating it, it's not accumulating very fast. Alright. I don't see that there's anything else here, although there could be. Let's do this, then. And you need power, of course. And here they come. And they're just going to do research on the thing. One, one of them came up. We'll have, to, we'll have to wait for them to produce the rest of them. But that does tick this up. So they do are they are counting. It's just a matter of do we have um do we have the interest to do 50 of them if there's no other reason to do 50 of them? Also, how often can I use this boost? Uh, a few seconds. Ooh, what is that? Space rocks. Rocks with no particular value floating around in space. Nice. I see the fog kind of coming back. I don't know if that's just a 3D visual effect. Ooh, what are these? Comet Fragment. They can be mined for ice and organics. But they are just a one-time use thing. Okay. Don't know what those are for. There's also some more uh, aliens or whatever they are over here. So we're going to want to be careful around those, because I don't know how many... Oh, yes, we want to be careful around those. That was a big clump of them. We could probably kite them out, some of them out a little bit, and then and then battle them. Um, I don't know if that's really worth it or not, though, at this point. Unless I see anything... Ooh, there's another silica asteroid. Okay, we don't really need more silica. Um... We just need to use the stuff we've got. Let's let's do one more attack on these guys just to see what happens. If I kite them out, just to see. Come here. Okay, now, frenzy. Yeah, we could do that. We could kite some of them out like this. Ha ha. Uh, 
That works. I mean, that's, that's definitely a thing. I just lost one. Pew 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 pew. Frenzy, go. Okay. That works. I can't do the frenzy here. Did I just lose some more? I did. So, yeah, I'm not very good at that part. But I think we'll just leave this here. Uh, we kind of gave the game a little bit of a good overview, I think. And uh, in the next... Um, in, in the next time, we next, next, when, next time we play this game, it will probably be when it's out. I think I'm interested in playing it, if you guys are interested in seeing it at least. And uh, we'll see what else comes to the game after this point. Um, as far as technology and um, advancement and the combat aspects, whether I stick with that or not, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but this has been interesting. I, I, I'm interested in this game. Some of the mechanics are a little bit different and unique. And we can definitely accomplish some stuff here. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all then. Bye for now.